Hi koala lovers, um, it's the end of 2014, boy it's been a big year and let me tell you 2015 is going to be great for the koalas because what we've done this year is absolutely cleared the decks so that we can go full steam ahead for a Koala Protection Act and, uh, and I'm absolutely determined that we're going to get one. And what is really fascinating to me over this last 12 months is that you just realise all these good people around the world who speak out for the koalas and we talk to our politicians and they're just not listening. So uh, the Koala Protection Act is written, the lawyers are with us 100% and Douglas, Dave and the rest of the team uh, have now sort of put all that good science into legal work so that we can get on and get that really fantastic thing for the koalas. Hi, I'm Douglas. I'm Chief Ecologist here at the Australian Koala Foundation. And given it's the end of 2014, it's a great time of year to reflect back on the successes of the past year. And what I thought would be great to share with you was some of the interns and the projects we've, that we've had going on around here. So we've had a number of interns over the last year. Uh, we had Chloe from the United States. She came in and did some legal research for us, looking at the uh, history of the Bald Eagle Act and trying to help us develop a plan for getting a Koala Protection Act into federal parliament. We then had Melody come over from France. She did a study for us looking at um, the Koala Beach, Koala-friendly urban development estate that was established with the Ray Group and the Australian Koala Foundation back in 1994 and given it's 20 years later, we thought it was a good time for a review just to see has it worked, what were the successes and where do we need to think again about some of our strategies. We also had Sonia come over from the United Kingdom. Sonia came and helped us do some uh, analysis and tidying up of our tree database. We had Erin. Uh, Erin was an economic student from the United States and she came over to do a study for us looking at the economic value of the koala to Australia's tourist industry. And finally, we currently have Sunel from Australia working for us. She's doing a project looking at the historical records of koalas, in particular looking at the fur trade and the impact that the fur trade in the 1920s and 1930s had on koalas historically. So the other big thing obviously we've been working towards is a Koala Protection Act. That's, that's 2014 has been spent preparing us for the campaign to come and obviously as we move into 2015 you'll see that come to the fore. The Koala Protection Act is basically a act of, in federal government that's going to hopefully bring about real protection for the koala in this country, something that hasn't been achieved to date. And what is making the Koala Protection Act so amazing is that the, for the first time it will actually say that a koala tree is precious and that in fact the koala is precious itself. So we've copied the Bald Eagle Act in America. So thank you to all Americans who have helped us over so many years. I really appreciate what you've done. Um, I want to wish all our European um, supporters, I hope you have lots of snow and of course here in Australia you're probably seeing how hot it is for me now, but it's hot down under. And to Americans, happy holidays. So Merry Christmas. Um, thank you for everything you do for us and see you in 2015.